What's up fam? Today I have a no recoil ICR loadout for you. So this ICR loadout, it almost got me a nuke too. Like I wasn't even going for a nuke, but I actually almost got one. I was like, hey, okay, this is crazy. But stay, stay tuned for that. It gets kind of crazy out there. So here's the ICR loadout. You might want to take a picture, a screenshot, you know, quick little do what you gotta do. For our optic, we have the recon optic. Attachments are grip one and two. FMJ and long barrel uh, perks I use are scavenger and ghost feel free to put whatever perks that you want to use this is just what I use to run this loadout um, if you don't mind the hideous freaking iron sights on the ICR then take off the recon optic but I found that it was like way easier to beam people domes like a million times easier because the, I don't know. I don't rock with the iron sights. I was not a fan. Recon optic made it so much easier. You can even customize the recon optic, put whatever color on it. Just that's what I do. For my eye, you should go with purple because it looks kind of nice. It looks like rose. It'll make it easier for you. So you're not just shooting people's bodies. You actually get some headshots with it so that you don't get your body shot. All right. A grit one to two is a no brainer with this gun because these are going to basically give you no recoil. This is what gives you the no recoil. Have that grit one to two on and I promise you, like you just gonna be straight beaming, right EJ? Like beaming fam. <laughs> EJ like yeah. <laughs> but look. But yeah, no recoil at all. I'm telling you. Like FMJ is another one you gotta put on here. I personally run FMJ because for one, it just gives you straight wall hacks. <laughs> I'm just like, it's not giving me wall hacks. You better not be wall hacking, bro. No aimbot over here. No aimbot, no wall hacks. We just straight skill, okay? Straight skill. Shout out to everybody that's like a casual sweat. I am a casual sweat. Sometimes I be sweating. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I might be holding my baby off man again. I ain't even trying. But we'll, we'll keep that running back. But yeah, it's basically FMJ is going to help you shoot the walls and other objects. So it's definitely a must. Like, you can pop some goofies here for me. All right. Especially if they got some armor on. So that's kind of a must. I personally keep it on. Hey, to each of their own. Also, let me know what loadouts y'all put for y'all. I said for y'all FMJ. For your ICR, bro. What am I saying? Some people do be eating bullets, though. Some people do be eating bullets. That's why, I mean, I don't know. If the gun offers F and J, I'm usually gonna put it on because supposed to be eating bullets. Whether they got body armor on or not, they be eating them. I'm like, this ain't it. I'm like, it just doesn't make sense. I'm like, so you're just gonna eat the bullets you catch them with the seeds? Like, hello? Like, what? But yeah, next long barrel. Long barrel gives you the range you need for this gun to be your go-to on any freaking map. Whether you're on Nuketown, whether you're on Halo, whether you're on Fire Range, whatever map you are. I forgot if Halo or Frequency. I think Halo is the one that I don't like where you, you can like drop down in the middle of the map, but whatever. It might be Halo or Frequency, I don't know. One of those I like, one of those I hate. I forgot which one's which, to be honest. Neither one of them to go to for me, but it's also kind of like this gun's gonna be good for you on jungle. Kind of a long range map, but then you're playing in the water, it's yeah, yeah, weird, it gets murky. But yeah, for your perks, like I said, you can really pick whatever you want, but I chose Scavenger because the ICR does not have extended mags, fam. There's no extended mags with the ICR at all. It's crazy. Definitely put your Scavenger on because unless you're gonna want to have to pick up someone else's booty gun which is a no-go. I hate when that happens or like you're getting close to a nuke and you run out of ammo and you have to pick up somebody else's gun. It, you're just out of luck because their loadouts are absolutely trash because they don't watch the channel and subscribe and like the video and comment down below what videos we should do next. But yeah, um, <laughs> definitely do that. But yeah, don't definitely put scavenger on, bro, because picking up other people's guns is not the move, I'm telling you now. But look, this will not work for you. If you camp all freaking game, if you just sit in the corner all game, it's not gonna work. You have to go at least pick up the ammo from the goofies that you just dropped or else you're still gonna run out of ammo. It's gonna be like, what was the point of you having a scavenger on if you're not gonna leave the corner? Like you gotta move around fam. Every now and then at least. You got ghost on and you got scavenger. You're set. You can move around. People more than likely ain't gonna constantly shoot you in the back unless you got terrible teammates like me. But hey, it is what it is, it is what it is. Our second perk, like I said, we are gonna be running ghosts to keep us hidden from UAVs. I've been running this a lot. I usually run Dead Silence, but lately I was like, man, I guess it kinda doesn't matter if I'm running Dead Silence or not. So I've been sticking with ghosts and what I do is I kinda crouch or I slide. I said I crouch, what? Crouch, crouch? I can't talk. 
<laughs> but basically crouch or slide like or just aim down sides when you're creeping up somebody so they can't really hear you you know then you catching them like it that's how it be you catch them back in. but yeah make sure y'all comment down below what loadouts we shoot next i was thinking of doing the uh the vapor xkg next but yeah y'all y'all let me know and now let's get into this gameplay i did report this live mm -hmm. on my no commentary channel make sure y'all subscribe to that channel as well if you like no commentary Respond stuff but if you don't rock with no commentary co content do not go over there and subscribe i don't want pity subscribers only subscribe over there and rock with that content if that's what you like if you don't like it don't touch it that's how i feel for all the rest of my channels we do not want dead subscribers we don't want people that's not going to interact if you don't rock with that content don't go over there but yeah let's hop into this gameplay i'm gonna talk over this figure out what i think Eesh. i felt like i was low-key beaming people sometimes i be shooting folks and as you see like as we're watching this i feel like i'm constantly having to reload like reload and reload and reload and Another thing that I do is I free aim. I pre aim a lot with this loadout. Really with any of them now. I feel like that's a common thing I, that's a go to. You gotta be pre aiming. Like, just already have your sights where you think the enemy gonna be, basically. Is it me? Or, like, do y'all feel like y'all BO4 lobbies are like a million times sweatier nowadays? I feel like lately, like, we've been grinding the sleigh bell. Like just doing the sleigh bow dark matter like i've been going for dark matter on all my uh like all my melee weapons i've been doing those on stream too and it feels like everybody's like sweating so hard and they start shooting my body when i'm doing the sleigh bow i i think they're embarrassed that i'm killing them with the sleigh bow like i'm killing them without a gun i think they mad let me eat these up yo the icr is crazy sometimes i had to like redo this loadout video because i previously had some footage for it it just didn't go well i was like nah ain't no way i gotta give this gun another chance i know the icr ain't this bad i have to give it another chance i'm like yeah this this gun is kind of it's kind of op if you use it right it, it could definitely be op this icr is pretty solid though i want the icr mark too like, I really want the Mark II on all my weapons. It's probably because like, I'm still not level 1,000 yet, but then again, we only have like 50 more levels, so we hit level 1,000 at this point. It kind of doesn't matter. I think that's why I also use like my Cordite a lot. And the same thing like with the Cordite is you got the belt feed on there. I don't have to reload with the Cordite. With this ICR, if I was to run this all day, every day, I would constantly be reloading because there's no extended mags. I mean, I do run Scavenger, of course. I mean, I could run Crash with it too. I mean, I've been trying to switch up my operators a little bit because I usually stick with Profit or I'll go with who? Crash is another one I used to run a lot. But the ICR beam, it does beam. Let me know if y'all try it out. I think it's definitely insane. We might record another video today too. We'll see, we'll see. Trying to get back on my grind. We need our watch hours up too. I feel like we about to hit a thousand subs, right? But I am like nowhere near hitting the amount of like watch hours you trying to hit. You need 4K, we're at like 1.5 or something. I'll show you on the screen. It's, it's not it. It's not it. We're not even close. So it's a slow grind. It's a slow grind to get a monetize on here. We joined late. This game we joined late and we started just kind of like going crazy on them. And folks was kind of heated. And we did unlock a couple of our challenges. We completed maybe like two of them for doing stuff with the specialist weapons for the 100% challenges. So I was like, yeah, gotta add that in there. Gotta add that in there. Those challenges not too bad. I feel like the hardest ones are actually like the equipment challenges or shoot, even the combat. This says get a freaking long shot with the combat. Like, I don't know how y'all expect me to do this, bro. Crazy. So fam, we have been grinding to hit level 1000 and to complete the 100% challenges in Black Ops 4 live on stream. So tune in to those if you're interested. We're currently at level, what, 950 on BO4? And we're at 95 at 100% so far for our challenges. But for now, watch this loadout video right here. God bless fam. 